basically um, ran the same way. Um, you know, very exciting. More, more, you know, this camp has just been more smooth. You know, some camps can sometimes get a little wild, but this camp has been just ran real smooth. Um, very, very comfortable. Um, happy, happy with you know my performance. You know, it's hot. It's hot. I mean, so far, thus far, in training camp, um, these guys have, have, have been pushing. And, you know, it's something I know that I need. And um, everything's going for great. You kind of do those ranks a little bit, like like Kenny does as well. Or does it be so mentally focused? Say that again. You kind of try to close the gym, you know, basically. I never. No, never. You know, we, you know, my security is, you know, very strict. You know, um, so we have to close camp at all. You know, it's two to three hundred people at, at the boxing gym every day. And uh, you know, the, like I said before, the security is very strict sometimes. But you know, my job is about to focus on my job, which is about to importance of being your own boss, being able to run your own life the way you saw it, and the best advice when it came to doing what you did when you left top rank to do what you Well, um, we talked, well, me and Leonard talked about this in the past, you know, when it was just uh, me, Leonard, and you know, Sean Tyler, and Kemp, just three of us. We talked about, you know, I told him, uh, I believe I'll, I'll, I'll be the first fighter to ever make a hundred million dollars in one night. You know, they kind of looked at me kind of funny, but then they said, you know, you just don't ever know what can happen. You know, it's, and it's really, not, it's really not about, you know, it's all about the money. It's about the legacy. It's about, you know, the fans. It's about family. It's a, little, it's, a, it's a little bit of everything wrapped in one. How do you think that you so young? You've had a good exactly. You know, what you're able to do, coming down the ring. Just believe it, you know, uh, just believe it, keep my fingers crossed. Um, surrounding myself, you know, with the right people. And it's, all about, it's all about making the right moves, and I, all, I always know. If I, if I made the right moves, and I had someone that had the same vision I had outside the ring, I know what I, I can do inside the ring, but I needed someone that had the same vision that I had the same belief that I had outside the race, then eventually we can go to the next level. And that's what happened. I'm right to the river you can able to do it, right? I mean, I mean honestly, you know, I don't you know, it all started with top rank. You know, I don't want to say nothing. Maybe I'm not asking you to understand. I mean, um I'm happy that I made the moves that I made because if I didn't make the moves that I made, I made, I wouldn't be where I'm at today in the sport of boxing. Do you think that might be the I can't really say it. it's it's like I mean this is real life. You know, um, I mean a lot of people, a lot of you know, writers like like yourself, he come here every, every I mean he's been here the last how many days? I mean he's been here a few times, but knowing that I'm here working, I'm dedicating myself. It's really not about it's, it's really not about the money that you got. Uh, you know, two future Hall of Famers uh, in a mega fight. And um, I, like I said before, I've done record breaking numbers before. Um, this is not my, like I said before, this is not my first dance. Whereas, uh, you know, with the Oscar Della Hoya fight, um, you know, they broke all records, and then we came around with the Della fight. So, you know, uh, I truly believe we, we, we're going to do it again. Uh, we're going to pay to do it again. But uh, I couldn't do it without the fans, uh, the media, the different media outlets, the different reports, the different writers. And like I said, I'm just blessed to be more of that. How do you ever agree to be where you are now? Where you are? Where's the greatest? We speak things to an existence. You know, we believe, like I said before, I believe a long time ago. Uh, just kept working hard, kept dedicating myself to my craft, and um, he came up with different creative ideas. You know how to make things happen outside of boxing. You know it's become a household name. Well, see how much attention this is getting. Is there any part of you that regrets having done this sooner? 
Um, I think everything in life is about time. Like I said before, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, um, if I don't know what I said before, because I'm, it's not my first time doing this sit down with, them, with these guys. Um, I don't regret, I don't regret anything. You know, everything, everything in life is about time. And, um, and the time is, the time is now. Time is what makes it time? I mean, uh, before I don't think this fight was as big. You know, with me constantly, continually, with me going out there constantly, getting bigger and bigger, not just in the sport of boxing, but outside the sport. By me growing it, you know, he stepping outside the boxing game. With him continue to grow outside the sport. And uh, the names are much bigger now than they, than they were before. I mean, I just think everything is time. You can't, you can't rush. You can't rush nothing in life. Every, certain things are meant to be. Well, if one of the only people might have had uh, spending six or seven dollars to watch a fight at home on TV, is it the defensively minded fighter? And, and, and you don't always go for the knockout. You know what I mean? They got to spend $99.95 this time. Are you really I'm not here to talk about what no one spends. Everybody's entitled to do what they want to do. My job is to go out there and be for me. That's my job. No one is supposed to do nothing they don't want to do. Like no one is forced to be, no one is supposed to be here today. Uh, I'm just thankful and I'm appreciative for it. whoever has bought it with you, whether they were pleased with the court or they wasn't pleased. When 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 it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, when 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 the book is written, they, they're not gonna say he was a, a defensive woods, they're gonna say Ford May wasn't was one. <laughs> Floyd, uh, you've been working with Alex Teresa lately. How big of a difference has that made in your condition? I mean, um, uh, everyone plays a uh, everyone plays a, a major role you know, within the camp. You know, uh, Alex Teresa is a he's a solid guy. Um, we have a, we have a real good we communicate extremely well. Um, he likes to do certain things this way, I like to do certain things my way, so like, any, like anybody else, we, we compromise and we get on the same page. You and Manny both have something in common, the love for basketball. Is it possible that you guys can meet on the court after this fight? <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, I don't really know, it's, it's um, I, I can play a little bit, you know, I ain't, no, I'm not a professional, but if I got something I chose, if I wanted to go professional, I won't take the time, I believe I could have. <laughs> Floyd, how much does this fight put an exclamation point on your great career? Uh, not at all. My, my Floyd Mayweather career is not defined by one fight. Do you feel they're going to give you a fair deal if, if it's going to knock out? Um, you, know, uh, you know, the judges are going to, the judges judge how they want to judge, you know. Um, just like this past weekend, and you know, like I said before, I think that, you know, in the sport of boxing, I think that we need to start getting some, some new judges, younger judges, but, you know, because, you know, the two fights this weekend, you know, in NBC, I looked at, I looked at them two total different ways, and the judges looked at the fights. Who'd you have winning? I'll just keep that to myself. Peterson, <laughs> Hell <laughs> no. the credit because you know I wouldn't be I probably wouldn't be a fighter if it wasn't for my body. So he deserves you know a lot of credit but I think a lot of times you know in, in, in boxing you know everyone wants to always talk about the coaches, the coaches, the trainers. Uh, and even in different sports, basketball, football, the coaches, the coaches, something about the athletes. You know, no matter what the coach is installing the athlete, they still have to give it every ball there and produce. As a trainer himself, though, he hasn't done the same thing. But can you talk about the, you know, his credibility as a trainer? You know, the thing is this. All this my father knows. The world don't have to say anything. Most you know that I love him, and I went out there. And when I fought, I didn't just do it for myself. I did it for the both of us. I think we should be happy with that. 
despite this like could be major validation. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't have to. One fight don't have to validate if my, if my father's a great trainer. What about his son being champion for 18 years? That don't validate nothing. <laughs> For, well, this being a four-day fight, how, how, how can we see something that we've never seen at you before? I, I can't really say. You know, I can't really say. You know, uh, how this fight is going to play out, but uh, I'm in I'm in tip-top shape. If the fight was today, I go out there and be at my best. Boy, boy, boy! Just in 2012, when Manny had the back-to-back loss, -back he got knocked out close by Marquez. At that point in time. Do you have any concerns of the fight being happen after he took, or was it sellable enough after he took those defeats? Um, I don't know what can happen. I didn't really say anything. You know, my thing was just hopefully he's able to bounce back. I mean, he was able to bounce back, which is a great thing for the sport of boxing and for itself. Because of your size and uh, your reach, do you think maybe in this fight you take a shot? Put him out in the late rounds. Uh, thought about that. I mean, we'll see. You know, we'll see. You know, what he brings to the table. We're pretty sure. You know, our style is totally different. You know, uh, you know, I fight with smarts. You know, I, I've been on top for so long because every move is calculated. Every move is thought about. You know, five and ten steps ahead of my opponent. So you got a lot of new things with this cap, chopping wood, swimming, doing all these other things. Um, what led to that? What's been your favorite thing to do so far? Uh, well, you know, um, I had to go back to square one. You know, you always got to go back to where it all started from. And, you know, those are the things I was doing, you know, when I was young. I was 10 years old, so I had to go back to where it all started from. What did you like the best to do? Um, either or, it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do both. You know, today, later on to tonight. Why did Why did you feel compelled to go back to square one? <laughs> um, I just wanted to, you know, for myself, um, not for anyone else. You know, you always go back to where it all started from, the basics. <laughs> Look, you, you're a bad guy with and everybody I talk to is talking about Manny. They say he's too fast. He comes at angles. <clears throat> Are you going to see anything that a ring you haven't seen in 19 years? Well, I mean. I, I don't know if you can make adjustments. I'm able to make adjustments. I mean, I mean, you come at different angles, we'll just have to see. You know, um, you know just know that he can be facing you know, a solid, strong waterway. Um, I feel good. I feel mean, like I feel, like I said, before, I feel tremendous. Camp has went great. And uh, we'll just have to see how the fight play out. You know, that makes sense. Like they just killed the guy across the line. The biggest high that the guy is ready for. Oh, the who? The biggest high that the guy across the line. The biggest high that the guy is ready for. Are you already asking that question? Boy, have you knocked out? He just, um, well, I don't, I don't really want to say hype. You got two guys that he's a future Hall of Fame. I'm a future Hall of Fame. And, um, we're meeting at the pinnacle of our careers. Okay, I've got to reply. Uh, uh, this is the fight of the century. What significance does it have in regards to the report of the Mayweather and the Washington Sands in the experience? Only thing I want to do is go up here and, you know, I can't really say what's going to happen. I can't, you know, they say it's the fight of the century. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this will go down as one of the biggest fights. In the, in the sport of boxing, I'm just going to say for understanding. Before I know you're deeply involved in emotional land, your events, especially with your underwear, has it been a little bit more difficult to the magnitude of this event, having a voter's cap and your fighter's cap on the time of things? Uh, I, you know, I, I've been really just communicating with uh, Leonard and Al. We've been communicating on the record. And they keep me updated on every day. You know, if I have an opinion about something, I let them know, like, this is a, this is a yes, but you know. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people that think this fight was, was going to happen. You know, a lot of people, you know, I was, adamant, I was very adamant about making it happen myself, actually. You know, I think everything is, like I said before, everything is about time. And uh, it was very difficult making this fight happen. But, you know, I'm happy that we're, you know, we're wearing it. 
boy, we keep hearing that this fight should have happened five or six years ago, meaning that all of you guys are past your prime. How do you look at yourself? You, you wouldn't feel that way about yourself, do you? I don't know. I don't know. Last time I checked, I was 27, you know? So, you know, I'm still going strong. You know, I'm, I'm a lot older now, you know, a lot wiser, but I'm still going strong. What adjustments have you made? Anything that you wouldn't have done five years ago, maybe, that you're doing now? You know, I can't really, I can't focus on five years ago. That's five years ago. I got to focus on May 2nd, I got to focus on today. Floyd, what can you tell us about your t-shirt today? Uh, Picture Floyd Mayweather on the, on, the, on the Money Team T-shirt. You know, I, like I said before, I love every country. I love everybody. So, I, you know, I think I'm entitled to wear you know anything I want. It's not the negative. Floyd, well, you expect Manny to come to rush right at you and knock you out? Uh, Attempt to knock you out? Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure. You know, he's a record, very, very reckless fighter. You know, and, uh, you know, uh, Peter Marcus like. Uh, you know, fighting very, very reckless. You know, um, you know, I could have had the same type of career, but you know, my career probably wouldn't have lasted this long, and um, I probably wouldn't be at 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 this point if I was a reckless fighter. Like that. Have you watched any tape on him? Would you say the first six minutes of the fight are going to be six to nine minutes are going to be very critical? No. Not at all. No, no, not at all. I mean, I, a guy can come out and a guy can, you know, uh, land a good shot. You know, but one thing about Floyd Mayweather, I can make a chance with his ball runs. Floyd's giving a lot of thought. How you into the ring? What you wear? You were with music. Tell me your philosophy about the relationship with the ring and what's behind this thing. You know, the most important thing is really how I get in the ring. It's about what I do when I get in the ring. That's I don't get nervous, you know, from no fighter. I don't get moved by anything. And 
um, once you get to, you know, once you, you know, I got one more fight, and I'm going to honor my contract. And, you know, I love being with uh, Showtime and CBS. You know, I could, you know, I couldn't thank them. I couldn't thank them enough. Floyd, do you want to hold off on that fight until the new arena opens? Would that be important for you being up to Las Vegas to get the fight in the new arena? Um, you know, no, my last fight is September. You know, one more fight in September. If the, arena, if the new arena is done by September, I, you know, I'll sit down with my team and see if we can go into the new arena. But you know, <laughs> you know, the Grand Garden is my home. Hey, Floyd, uh, styles make fights. Does yes. Manny Pacquiao have the style to complement your, your style to produce a good fight? I, I don't know, you know. But from the matchup, it, it seems like a very exciting fight. You know, you know when I, when I mentally picture the fight, it's going to be a, it's going to be a, it's going to be an exciting fight. Is this fight, you know, does it mean more than just money? Is this for your legacy? Um, it's just, it's just a fight to me. I mean, like I said before, one fight, uh, do not define my legacy. If, if that's the case, then, you know, I didn't have to fight all the fights, you know, that I fought. I said, come in the sport of boxing, fight one fight, then I said, you know what, this fight defined all my other, all my other victories. So, once again, one fight did not define what they want to do. Floyd, that, that, when you had the downtime, when you briefly retired a few years back, how was that able to keep you? Take took break. How was that? How were you able to stay fresh, or how has that helped you right now? What did you learn about Floyd think, not being a fighter? I think that every every everyone needs a rest. You know, they were from a reporter. You know, everyone needs a rest. They like say, let me take let me take some time off to myself, and then when I and then when I come back, you know, let me let me find different ways to be. To be more creative with, with you know with my right and you know let me you know come with different questions let me ask questions that no other reporters have asked so you know so that's the thing it's about being creative and you know i left the sport you know pretty boy boy and i come back boy money money made but it's all about reading really yourself and that's what i did did you miss boxing at all um, a little bit yeah i did actually i didn't miss boxing that's why i came back like, what is it about the MGM brand that was so important to have in this venue? Because you better put this in the football stadium in the United States and probably sold it out in the day. Um, I mean, Las Vegas, I mean, this is the capital of boxing. I mean, I mean, you couldn't afford to be able to fight with you. You mean, you got so many different shows on the strip. We can gamble, we can shop late night. We can party late night. I mean, I mean, beautiful city, beautiful women. I mean, you get anything you want in the city of Las Vegas. Amen. Look at the year. Your last couple of fights, you've had other venues, the bar, the Cowboys. They have all tried to throw a lot of money at you to drink a Mayweather fight to their to their venue. What is Kennedy Royal to the MGM at Las Vegas? I mean, that's a great thing about it. You know, a true definition of loyalty. Anything that I've asked, uh, you know, from the MGM Grand, they have did it in a heartbeat. You know, I don't care what it is. Because if I look and I see something, I see it. I just look at it. I know what they're really saying. If I look and say, you know, I, I want that. You got it. You say, here we go. You know, it's all about keeping. You know, it's all about keeping the entertainers and the athletes happy. You know, and, uh, I see. I got an MJ brand watch that they bought me. I called it the MJ brand. It's, it's a special Rolex that they bought me. You know, I don't, I don't know which fight it was, but my fight was probably sold out in 12 minutes. Um, I seen this watch. I called it the MJ brand because it has a green emblem. It's only seven made in the whole world. And, um, you know, my fights just sold out in like 12 minutes. And so I went to the um, Bellagio, which is an MJ brand property. And I said, um, I want this watch. So I called her and said, take it. It's a gift for my watch. Like, watch cost like probably 400000 Floyd, do you think that gives you any advantage in the ring? What? What you just described. You know, I think that when the, when the fighter fights, they're on an even plan field. A, a ring is a ring. No matter where, you know, no matter where they fight at, a ring is a ring. 
floor. You know, it's just, I was like, it better because I can just, I just have to drive down the street. <laughs> I don't have to go that far. You know, I don't have to get on my, I don't have to get on my private jet and fly, you know, fly somewhere. I can just, you know, tell my driver to take me down the street. Let's go down there. Oh, no. I wasn't lying. Oh, 